E for eminiwizard.com and marketwizards.com reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. It's about 9.48 on the 28th, the last day of February 2019. We, we have suggested paid for sure on first touch, 92 to 93 if we got there. Because that might be an area that shorts will try to defend and we're thinking hit and run and no big edge. We favor the long side with a slight edge from that 85 support today to 85 to 82 to try to get back and test 92s to 93s anyways. And then <clears throat> nothing guaranteed past the half gap, which we've got at 92 and a quarter. So I think because it's a fairly choppy range, you should think about small rotations and grab a couple here and there as you can. And this was the predictive chart that we were looking at, saying this is really the flipper. The longs need to get up in, in above and sustain trade up above this 93 if, if they're going to try to tackle the top of the pipe for the predictive area which is going to be at that 98 area. And with a lot of, uh, you know, news events today, <clears throat> we can certainly get some zigging and zagging. Here's our five minute chart. <clears throat> we know what the 15 minute look like. <clears throat> we also want to see what, what the five looks like. And Long's need to get the market up above <clears throat> rain line and keep it there, which is 92 and a quarter. And a reminder, we're looking at multiple charts to see what we think OTF is thinking about. Currently, this is our fighting box, our support box. And by definition, since this is our fighting box, <clears throat> it makes this one up here, the resistance box. And I say hit and run because it's just too murky to think about a sustained trade this early. And here is your <coughs> monthly look. And I'm going to keep an eye on this downtrend line for now. I don't want to move it 12 times. Because at one point you realize that you should have kept it over here and it's, you know, like a throwback line. But I want to stay aware of, of that idea for now. And we've also got an uptrend line, the mini. So let's be aware of that too. And you can see why a lot of people don't like technical analysis because it's like looking at the clouds and trying to see something that may or may not be there. We had suggested for the first rotation, let's think about 85, one level back from the pipe and the 92 and a quarter, one level back from the pipe. And so far, just looking at this, I would have to <clears throat> say that 90 seems to be our middle right now in the opening rotation. All right, just call it 87, 93. It's got to be plus or minus three <clears throat> from 90. And still got whack-a-mole going on until we break this pattern. All right, we got a little double in here at that 87 area. And I said, so far we have, <clears throat> the assumption is at 85 to 82 support. And that's the squeeze type trade. 
So still range trade, much too early to know anything other than range trading. <clears throat> and both sides will need hit and run if they're playing. If you don't like this type of trading, don't. Just stay sideline. Highest odds trade is already done, which is the long side trade, trying to get to the half gap. Using 85 support. Okay, Zeke. <clears throat> Too early to start drinking, Zeke. So Demon at 94, Angel 83 and a quarter, <clears throat> mid zone 88 and a half. And this is not the type of day you expect to hang on to any trades for more than a couple of points max. No, not, not during IB. There's just too many cross currents. Both sides uh, can really make a case for their position, that's why. All we know is by the end of the day, we'll have a more clarity. <laughs> is this 82 to 85 true support for now? If it is, can we at least hang in there and come back into that 95 area? And and then the setup for overnight. So so we'll see. Um, I try to take it one step at a time, and I think right now range trading makes the most sense. And then if there's a news event, what are you going to do? You can't predict a news event. You can predict that today is end of the month. <clears throat> Some traders want profits. Oh, the traders want to do the window dressing move. So my belief in the bigger picture, the zone right in here is, is probably the key zone. In hindsight, we'll be able to look back at this area. That that was one of the clues yesterday <clears throat> that tipped me off. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Good healthy bounce. Got at least 10 points. These guys have really defended the 81s. Maybe these guys are going to try and take out that eye. It'll be a third time through. Yeah, maybe. Because if we can't get back in and test 85, 82, we know the squeeze is on. And, and that's where you have to turn your mind around and say, you know what? I like hitting the bounce <clears throat> after this kind of a plunge. But maybe the maybe the fix is in. Remember I said that? The fix is in. Boom. Fix is in. And squeeze it into the close. So I think that's going to be become a very important neighborhood today. For for the longer term direction, meaning by the end of the day. And that's part of our our system, just understanding that. All right, anybody that's coming back in, I had posted earlier <clears throat> that we've got a magnet at 88 and a quarter. And a power pivot back here. So above that power pivot, that's why I'm considering this a, an important support zone today.
Think it and run. And if you have a trail and want to keep it, that's up to you. But <clears throat> today will be a tough day to chase if you get behind. There's our magnet right there, 88 and a quarter. That's one of the reasons why I said I think this will be an important area today. All right, both sides have money from the open. RPG, rotational pivot game. And we can see how that 93 was rejected. <clears throat> Profit taking is all we know. We know that the swing from 82, let's call it, to 93 is about 11 point swing. So, Typically, that gives you about a five and a half point swing backwards, correct? Which would get us back to 88 to 87. So what I'm measuring is this leg from the low to that swing high. And that you can do in your head usually. Anybody short side? Great trade. This is the art of trading and not, not worrying about <clears throat> 75 and not worrying about 100 and, you know, 2814. Just trading in the range that's right here. And, and too many traders I see on on Twitter, they won't post this because it's so hard to do and they don't know how to do this. So they'll make their grandiose calls, you know, for 40 points away. That, that won't help you as a trader. Yeah, you have to get into trades without being stopped out to get those type of trades. Okay, so so let's set up the widget on, on that. I'll uh, take that in a minute. We'll set up the widget and see if I can show you that idea. Okay, so what I've done is just to show you <clears throat> the calculation I made in my mind. Well, it's from these lows, double right here. You can see the double. <clears throat> Swing high, come back to the middle of that trade, 87 and a half. Got it? And you can do that in your head. You don't need to change the charts, but I wanted to show you the visual of that. So in this, in a swing type, intraday swing chart, this is your four, five, and six. Bingo. Anybody gets back down in here, make sure you are paid. This is a great, great <clears throat> trade on, on the longs who thought they had it. I said murky today. They're very murky. Both sides. Remember this chart up here <clears throat> we said would be the key? Right, we said let's look at the 15 because it gives an edge to coming backwards and messing around south side. Right, look at it. It's taken me years and years to try to understand this stuff. 85 to 82 test, <clears throat> we said possible support. I said 84. 84.6, I think I said, was another magnet, the power pivot. 
Anybody that's in the 85 is great trade if you took this and had a trailer. Love it when a plan comes together. And don't get overconfident. Could still be shake and bake. I have a bunch of magnets. Those that have these spreadsheets understand that. Here is our fighting box currently. That's become our resistance box. And I said this 8475 is the power pivot, which basically takes a, a bunch of magnets and averages them. And that's how I get the power pivot. And so you'll see that on the trader's GPS, but that's just taking it off of the page where I calculate it on the balance of power page. And then I just put it out there for my convenience. I, I said, take, be careful about this downtrend line. And at 93, 92 to 93 must be paid. And I showed you why. Not just the line, but the, the math of that idea. Bucket shop closed. We are still trading inside yesterday's range. And the dime obviously off the top <clears throat> would be 83s. So make sure you pay it ahead of 83s. I've got 83 and a quarter as our angel overnight. It looks so, so good for the longs. <clears throat> Trailer territory, anybody that is short side. A lot of time left in the day. This is typically the heart of what needs to hold for the long side. So make sure you are paid coming into this 85 to 82. It's just a big, big idea. And the best chart today that helped us to see that potential, there's a couple of them, but I really like this chart because it worked so well yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm looking from this line to the blue line. That's not a short trade, but that is a good one once we start coming back down that way. It's a great chart. This one is huge. Look at how good this chart was. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No, you don't, not ready yet. Don't get complacent. Anybody that's had a good trade, lock it, lock it, lock it. <clears throat> Monthlies. Right now we can see this idea coming together. The, and eventually this gets squared off more rectangular, but right now we can see the triangle. And we said today is going to be a little squirrely because of news that comes out here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put on... 
this chat for you profilers. So I'll see what they're looking at. It would it seem to indicate this 84 line, an important line? Now, again, I'm trying to be fair and say there, my method isn't the only method. There are a lot of methods out there that I think are doable. <laughs> I just happen to like the one that I've used all these years. But I can certainly see the merit in this chart and say, okay, you got to get by 84. That seems to be an important location. Right? Low volume node evidently right here. I can see the importance back in this range, just below 92. And I can certainly see the 94 area. So a lot of time left in the day. All we know is inside day for now, gives us a lot of room to work with. And I say, get a couple points and be happy. More news right now. Is profit taking from smart shorts. This is just a tough area to overstay, this 82 to 85. These are 30 minute bars. Look at the tail right now. Two way day I called and so far that's been true. <clears throat> Theoretically, the overnight range went from high to low, correct? And as such, if, we, if we've gone from high to low, you can hit the first bounce especially if it's in a territory that you think you have a great edge. Right? All right, let's put this thing back on. Deep pull back, I'm gonna put this back, click of the wrist right here. And all you're gonna do is come back and change this to highs and lows on sharp. And that'll give you your spread. And anybody that's playing today, the closer you are to the lows, the better the edge for the buy, and the closer to the highs, the better the edge for the short. And IB is substantially <clears throat> in place. I always keep saying, make sure you get paid by that 10th point because that's the one that gets you. Inside day for now. And I said, let's keep a neutral bias. Slight edge to the longs or a window dressing. And if they don't, they don't. 